Today we're going to work on passing, one of the most important skills a player can have. It's a complex skill that doesn't get practiced often enough. We're going to show you the techniques that are going to make you an excellent passer. It starts off with good hand position on your stick. You want to ensure your hands aren't too close or too far apart. Just inside the shoulders is a good passing position. You want to make sure your wrists are really flexible on your stick. Firm grip, but also allowing for some movement with your wrists. There's different phases of passing. The first phase is the bringing it back. The second phase is the sweeping motion towards your target. The third phase is the actual follow through to your passing target. You want to make sure the motion is smooth, very much like the wrist shot, but the puck wants to stay as flat as possible and as accurate as possible. There's more to passing than just giving a pass. There's also receiving a pass. When you're receiving a pass, it's essential that you've got good hands, you're always providing a target, your stick's on the ice, your head's up. What we want to see is we want to see a smooth motion between the players. Notice how the follow through points directly to the target, stick's on the ice, head is up, always aware of what's going to be happening. You don't want to have your wrists really stiff because then the puck's just going to bounce off your stick. When you're receiving a pass, you want to make sure that that stick's on the ice, you want to look for the puck, bring it back, cushioning of the puck. Fall through, sticks on the ice for target, cushioning the puck upon receiving. It's also important to communicate with the person that you're passing with. That's going to let them know that they're going to be receiving the pass or Dano. that they're going to be getting a pass. Dano. Don't be afraid to put something on it. The harder your pass, the more accurate your pass, the better it's going to be. Remember the key things. Sticks always on the ice, communicate with your partner, soft hands, and always follow through to your partner. If you want to be an excellent passer like Gretzky, Lemieux, and Eiserman, you have to practice. Those NHL players have taken a lot of time and a lot of practice to become the players they are today. You too can be that type of player. Give it your best shot. Here are some common passing errors to watch out for. Always look at your target. Don't slap at the putt. Maintain a smooth motion when passing and receiving the putt. Don't just put your stick down and expect the puck to stop for you. If you don't treat it carefully, it won't stay on your stick. Cushion that puck and cradle it against the ice. Always provide a target. Keep your stick on the ice and follow through with a firm, crisp pass. Never send a pass to someone who's not looking for it. That's a turnover waiting to happen. Remember to communicate. Here's how you can practice passing without a partner. It's called off the wall. You're going to be a stick length away from the boards, puck's going to be cupped, you're going to be pushing the puck off the wall, cupping the puck as it returns. The good thing about this drill, it allows you to adjust to where the puck's bouncing. So what happens, Dan has to not just keep his stick ready, he's got to adjust his stick to where the pass is like, which is very game-like. This is a drill that can be done at home as well, with a tennis ball against the cement wall. Give it a try. Not shooting, soft hands, soft hands. Turn your wrist over, don't just push the puck. Turn your wrist over, follow through. Soft hands, good. Excellent job, excellent job. That's how you do it. All right, on. Move it around, move it around. Soft hands. Try the same thing on the backhand. Sweep the puck to your target, follow through, return, excellent. Sweep the puck, bring it through, sweep that puck. Points and follow through. Excellent. Head up. That's it, Thomas. Nice and smooth. Sweep that puck. Really turn your wrists over and follow through. Fantastic job. That's how you do it. Great work. Passing is an essential part of the game of hockey. The drill we're going to do is called trapping. What you do with a partner is you have both guys trapping the puck between their sticks. What this does, it's a sliding motion where you're cupping the puck both on the forehand and the backhand. What it's doing it's giving yourself an opportunity to feel the puck, but also simulate the motion of passing. Hands are in passing position, wrists are rolling, nice sweeping motion just like this. What you do is you switch, so both guys can get on the forehand, and also work the backhand. Notice how the puck is trapped between the stick, in a nice smooth motion, partners are sweeping their arms in unison. That's how it's done, get a partner and give it a try. Okay guys, bend your knees, good stance, don't be straight up and down. Get your knees bent, nice and soft hands when we're doing this. Here we go, nice and soft. Good range of motion. Forehand and backhand, soft hands, bend your knees. Mike, let's go now. Stay down low, come on, widen your stance. You're not gonna be passing like that in the game. Here you go. Keep that puck trapped. Push. 
great work. Okay, switch. So one's on the forehand, the other person's on the backhand. Ready, here we go, other side. Go ahead. That's it. Okay, try to go a little faster now. See how fast you can go. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna stay one stick length apart. You're gonna make sure your sticks line up with your partners. You're gonna have soft hands. Just work the puck back and forth. There's no puck handling. Soft hands, no noise. Keep it nice and quiet, just like this. As we get a little bit better, we'll move it back just a little bit. Same motion, nice and smooth, on the ice, just like that. Soft hands, that's it. Good. Passing is the ultimate team skill. The puck always moves faster than you can skate. So it's important to share the puck with your teammates. It's important that you practice the skill. The more you practice your passing, the better you're going to be. Other things to remember include, don't just work on your forehand. The forehand is only one aspect of passing. Work the forehand. Work the backhand. Same fundamentals apply. Sweep the puck, follow through to your target, keep your stick on the ice to receive. If you work on both your forehand and your backhand, you're going to be an excellent passer.